So I've had fun making these, so after the first 10, I decided to make a few more. Now I have a whole forest of trees. I had to stop at 30, that was enough. Okay, so I used my circular saw to cut off an eight inch strip of this plywood. This is walnut on this side. This is gonna look pretty. So now I'll cut it into eight inch pieces and I'll have my eight by eight squares that I can do my carve out my template. So I have my eight foot, eight inch strip of my plywood. So I'm cutting it to a little bit more manageable pieces so I can cut some eight inch squares for my blanks. So here I am setting a stop block to eight inches and I'll be able to cut quickly all the pieces to eight by eight squares. Now I have a pile of my blanks, so all I need to do is put them together and draw my pattern on the back of them to be able to cut them all at once with my bandsaw. Next step is to take your pattern, put it on the back of my wood, trace it out. So now I have my lines of where I'm going to cut out with the bandsaw and I'll do one first and if I like how that looks then I'll put four or five of them together and cut all of them at once. So this is a piece of red bud I actually trimmed off and I'm going to level the bottom of that and these are going to be the little tree stumps that will saw up into about inch and a half inch pieces. Okay, so my sample was uh, acceptable to the party planner, i.e. my wife. So now I gotta make nine more of these. So let's get to cooking. So I put together five of my pieces and I'm batch cutting them all at one time so it goes a lot quicker. A little coat of poly, a uh, spray on, kind of accents the wood grain. This is the back side, which is maybe oak or birch or something, and the uh, front side will be the walnut. So it really adds to the enhancement, preserves it a little bit.
Merry Christmas to you and yours. From me, Bodie Pendis, and DIY Home and Garden.